Well, the new map comes out, there's going to be a species called the kangaroo, and we're actually going to be able to hunt the kangaroo for the first time. I do believe it's going to be the gray, but what is that kangaroo going to be like when we hunt for it? Well, at this point, we really can't tell, but what we can do is we can head out to a certain map where I'm pretty sure we can find some. Look what we got way out there. We got a red fox out there at about 280. And we got the AR-223, so we're going to attempt. I don't know about that. Well, we could take that shot if that branch wasn't right there. 280 yards. We're going to have some drop here. Maybe a little bit too high. Looks like we actually may get a second chance at that fox. He stopped out there at 220 yards this time, and we're going to try and go prone. Actually, we may lay on top of this rock here, go prone, and see if we can't pull off this shot. There's our fox. Boy, that should have been a hit. I can't imagine it wouldn't have been. I mean, it seemed like it was 220 yards, and it was 220 yards, but yeah, he took off. So I'm not exactly sure why that shot wouldn't have connected. Well, that's because it did connect. It certainly did connect. In fact, he's laying right there. I don't know what we hit, but I'm kind of curious. Looks to be body blood, but then again... It says we didn't hit anything, but I find that very hard to believe. It was only a female, so luckily nothing too special, but I do feel like that should have been a good shot. Trying to see if we could find it. Okay, well. There's the, I believe, exit hole? Although I am not quite understanding that shot drop there. We were literally holding high center which basically would have been yeah like right here somewhere and we shouldn't have had any drop but for some reason it looks like we got a ton of drop centered him pretty nicely but dropped quite a bit well it's not exactly a kangaroo but we got our first feral hog out here at about 200 yards i think the 6.5 should take him down quite nicely but the angle that he's at there is going to be very difficult to pull off this shot. So I think we're going to have to hold off. Why does that look very patchy to me? I don't think it is. I think it's actually just because it's in the shade. But I could be wrong. That could be a piebald. And here he comes. Here he comes. Right there, right there, right there, right there. All right. He is not a piebald, but he's a decent sized one. I believe he's a cream. And boy, is he on the move. Hopefully he slows up here soon. But unfortunately, I don't think he's going to. Holy. I mean... That thing was absolutely hauling through there. How in the heck are we supposed to hit that thing? Oh my god. We hit him. We actually hit him. Now, I don't know how good, but it looks like already down to 60% on the second track there. It's looking pretty alright so far. But we gotta find some more blood. And more tracks. Alright, that is not looking so good. He already stopped bleeding on the third track. So that pretty much means that he is not going to go down. Look at what it just led us to. Right to some kangaroos. There we go. So there was a couple kangaroos right here. Alright, this is actually probably my favorite spot to look for kangaroos here. Because honestly, if you look at the map... You are right in this little crevice here, and you can see all the way down this huge valley here, and you can see all the way around the bottom of this hill over here as well, in between uh, the middle of these mountains also. See, I mean, take a look at what I'm talking about here. Just look at this view. We already have eyes on what appears to be a feral goat. That there could be a 300 plus feral goat. 
And then we have eyes on something else right here. Another feral goat. Small one kind of coming our direction. And there's a bunch more over there as well. In fact, there's a whole herd of them. A couple looks like 180 pluses over there. Decent ones. There's a big dark one in the back there. I can't quite get eyes on him. Looks like just a female. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, let's get ready on this one. Not that one, of course. This one. Right there, that one. Now that I look at him, he looks to be probably like a 250 or 260s. He's definitely nowhere near 300 plus. But I mean, just take a look at this incredible view. You can literally see this entire valley from here. And a lot of times you'll find a bunch of kangaroos trotting out in the open. So that's pretty cool. But right now it looks like there's no kangaroos around here. And let's get ready. This thing is coming right for us here. About 160 yards right there. We should be able to use a 6.5. I don't see why we wouldn't. Smoked him. Dropped him right there. Beautiful. All right, so it looks like those are taken off and those are taken off as well. But there's a good chance we could have kicked up a roo. Ooh. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Oh, he's gone. That was a good one. That was another 180 plus potentially. Nonetheless, it looks like we have a pretty clean opening here. And no sign of any ruse. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark this feral goat right here. Again, we're still not having any luck finding kangaroos, but we have a couple more feral goats out there. We do have tracks from them around here, but we just can't quite get lucky enough to get eyes on one. So we're going to take a shot on this feral goat out here. It's got a cool looking set of horns on him and he's 220 yards out. I just want to see how accurate this thing is. We're again going to try for a potential heart shot here. Well, now that he's moving, that's going to be a little bit trickier. Alright, so that shot actually hit, but it hit a little high. I saw that for a fact. Well, maybe not so much. Thing didn't go 20 yards and just piled up right there. Uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure how that thing would have went down so quickly, but okay. We may have hit spine. But then again, I feel like spine would have dropped him. All right, here's our nice size feral goat that we got, and it should be a 250s. Ended up getting a lung stomach. Oh, only 160? Let's just take a look at this. How am I so far off on this estimate? Oh, okay. So he's not really, yeah, he's not wide enough. I mean, he's got potential, but he's just not quite wide enough. I mean, it's still a cool looking feral goat. That should be a roo. That should be a roo. Oh my God. It's a roo. It's a roo too. So a roo just called right on the backside of this mountain over here. Right tight on the edge. So we're going to try and stay on the very high end to look downwards. Hopefully he's not up here. All right. We're getting pretty close. So we're going to go crouch right now and work our way over the top of this ridge here. He's got to be just on the backside. Although I don't know if we can really get high enough here anymore. Unless, can we actually climb up the- No freaking way. You guys realize we're climbing almost straight freaking vertical right now? Oh, I spoke a little too soon. Now we're starting to fall down. Oh my god, I hear it. He's right on top of us. He is right on top of us. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Go prone, go prone, go prone. Dude, he's in range for a bow shot. Nice male Rue. I don't even have a bow on us at this point, to be honest, so... They walk so interesting, don't they? They almost walk like a, uh... Like half bat, half monkey or something. 
perfect stop, perfect shot. We got ourselves a nice rue down. You really gotta be patient and wait for them to stop at the right moment in order to get those vitals opened up to take that shot. Because uh, otherwise it could be super difficult and look at all the rues taken off. Holy look at them all. Yeah, at this point there's no way in heck you can get a shot off on another one because they're just absolutely hauling out there. You know what I mean? They are absolutely just hauling. I do believe those are all female though. But still a pretty cool sign to be able to have all those rues right on top of us here. And we definitely have our first male rue down right over here. Yeah, it's going to be a great time when these things come out to Call of the Wild in Australia. Honestly, I feel like these will be such a cool animal because I do think they're going to be aggressive. And can you imagine a full-grown roo just full-out attacking you in Australia? Next thing you know, you just get, you know, kickboxed by one of these things that just comes at you out of the brush. It's going to be quite interesting. But that's a good size one. 73.76. I believe 80 plus is, like, huge. So that's a good size one. Got a shoulder left lung shot. You can see their vitals are, you know, a little bit forward and kind of low. You can basically hit almost the armpit and still get lung there. But then the heart is almost even a little bit more forward, kind of towards the throat area. But yeah, 57 yards. I mean, he was in range for a bow shot. Had we had a bow on us, we definitely would have attempted it. And uh, not only that, he was actually even a little bit closer before that. I do believe he was probably somewhere around... You know, 45 yards out at first when we initially did see him. But there we go. Nice picture. Big old Rue. Boy, that is something. That sure is something. Would you look at that over there? That actually is our feral goat from before. I did not realize that you could see the orb from friggin' 300 yards away. But that must be a new feature. That's pretty cool. We'll get back over there in a second and try and get some more of these kangaroos down. Oh, 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 another one, another one right there, right there, a nice one. That's uh, another 150 plus, 250 yards out this time. So I'm thinking again, we'll try and hold a little bit high. Dude, this would be the perfect opportunity to have a bipod right now. It did drop right in there perfectly. Wait a second, did he go down or where in the heck did he just go? Because we should have seen him until he got to at least 340 or 350, I believe. Unless... Uh, 300 might be render, actually. Nonetheless, that shot looked absolutely perfect. It dropped right in there beautifully. Um, we're going to mark this spot since we can already see the orb from this one over here. And we'll go check this out. Then we'll go over there and check out the other feral goat as well. All right, let's see how we did on this one. It didn't go very far at all, and it was a body hit, a 101. But where did it hit? Cool looking feral goat. That's why we took him down. I thought we got him in the spine. This thing has a ton of thick fur on it. Look at that. Like You would literally have to pull each one of these hair patches out in order to find out where the hole is. So we're probably not going to be able to figure it out. But nonetheless, cool looking feral goat. He's got the kudu looking horns, which is awesome. All right. I do believe we made a great shot on this one. That appears to be definitely a vital hit. Wow. So it must have been the render. Yeah, that shot was absolutely beautiful. Look at that shot placement there. I'd say it was probably 290 yards. The shot was 254 yards, and we did get uh, about like six inches of drop there. But that took him down. Looks like lung and shoulder blade shot, 163. So a lot of 160 plus feral goats here. Which, they're really decent ones. Really, really decent. You can see this guy doesn't have near as much fur as the last one did. But still a pretty cool looking feral goat. All right, there we go. We just caught up to the rest of that herd of kangaroos, and we got one out there at about 260. In fact, there's quite a few out there at this point. One, two, and I sh think there should be three more out there as well. But let's see if we can't get ready and go for a 300-yard shot on this one. We do know that we got quite a bit of a drop here from this distance, but 
We also know that it is possible to make a pretty awesome shot. Dude, they stop for like half a second, legit. That should be a hit. Should be. Look good. Well, let's get over there and go take a look. I mean, he was quartered almost directly away from us. We were holding for the neck, so we should have had at least 8 to 10 inches of drop. And even if we dropped too low, we would have gotten intestine because of the angle that he was at. So, I'm feeling pretty promising about that shot. Well, we got blood. We definitely got blood, guys. That's a pretty good sign, if I do say so myself. More blood here. And more blood here. So that's four, maybe even five spots of blood there. And not only that, I do believe we got ourselves a root down right over here. So our shot connected at almost 300 yards. And we took down this Rue. There we go. I believe it's a female. All right, shot was 286 yards and nine minute wound time. So it's very difficult to get to tell where we actually hit, but I'm gonna check. It was quartered just like this. I would have thought we would have hit somewhere around here. Anywhere from here to here, but I'm not seeing any sign of where we hit, potentially. Nonetheless, we got ourselves another Rue down. There we go. Big ol' female Rue. Now, in this case here, the females are pretty cool as well. Although they may... They may not be quite as cool as the big males, but they're still pretty cool in the fact that they're very vicious and powerful as well. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. Are you excited to hunt for the kangaroo? And what are you planning on hunting them with? I'm actually super excited to hunt for the kangaroo with the Reeker bow, in all honesty. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.